what's going on everyone it's be avery again and i am here for another trailer reaction and yes this is my second most anticipated film of the entire year marvel studios avengers infinity war trailer number two you know so like i, I, I really feel like i'm late to the party uh you know we all found out yesterday that the trailer was dropping today and i was like man please marvel please disney please do not drop this trailer at eight in the morning please drop it at night because if you drop it in the morning i'm gonna be at work and i'm not gonna be able to react to it until i get off work so that's all i can think about today but you know i'm finally here i'm uh you know what am i like uh, 10 hours late to the party but you know i got my captain america my throw up so i'm done talking let me go ahead and put on these headphones and you guys can watch me watch this trailer here we go. Mm. <laughs> the entire time I knew him, he only ever had one goal. To wipe out half the universe. If he gets all the infinity stones, he can do it with the snap of his fingers. Just like that. Oh, that's a good more, okay. Tell me his name again. Thanos. There we go. Woo! 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 Yeah. We got one advantage. He's coming to us. We have what Thanos wants. So that's what we we'll use. Wakanda, yeah! <laughs> sure. Let's talk about this plan of yours. I think it's good, except. It sucks. So let me do the plan, and that way it might be really good. Wow. <laughs> the end is near. Man, okay. When I'm done, half of humanity will still exist. Who's the girl? Oh. Perfectly <laughs> bounced. As all things should be. Oh. Oh. I hope they remember you. Uh. How is he able to do that? I'm Peter, by the way. Doctor Strange. Oh, you're using your made-up names. Then I am Spider-Man. <laughs> Man. And I already got my tickets. That is something that I did do first thing this morning when I saw a pop-up at work. I was like, I gotta go. And I, I literally left. And I bought my tickets. I got it for uh, Thursday night. Uh, April 27th at 7 p.m. IMAX 3D, uh, 2D. Yes, yes, yes. And I'm so happy because Joe and Anthony Russo, the Russo brothers, that of course gave us the beautiful Captain America to win a soldier, Civil War, and now Avengers Infinity War. First time in history, uh, first time in cinematic history that the entire movie, the entire film is going to be shot from beginning frame to end frame in IMAX uh, cameras. I can take these off. And so uh, that's just it's just never been done before. Only people that's ever done that was, um, you know, Michael Bay, Christopher Nolan, uh, the Russo brothers, Ryan Coogler just shot a few scenes of his Black Panther, um, you know, with IMAX cameras. And who else? Michael Bay, Christopher Nolan, the James. Uh, I'm trying to I don't think James Cameron did. Maybe. But anyway. OK, the trailer. Um I gotta watch it again. The entire time I knew him, he only ever had one goal. So that's Gamora. Who's that? To wipe out half the Is universe. That one if he gets all the infinity stones, he can do it with the snap of his fingers. Just like that. Tell me his name again. Thanos. If they're in the same scene, I'm, man, I'm glad that he's there with her. 
Because I was wondering if Iron Man was going to meet up with the Guardians. We got one advantage. He's coming to us. Always updating them we suits. We have what Thanos wants. He the Superman. So that's now. what we use. The Grandmaster. <laughs> We're gonna see what the most advanced uh, Let's talk about this nation plan, in the dude. world is gonna do. I think it's good, except it sucks. So let me do the plan, and that way it might be really good. Wow. Man, they are ready to go. Who was that Falcon or somebody else in the back? So I got. I guess he got his new weapon. When I'm done. Humanity will still exist. This is backstory. Perfectly balanced. As all things should be. I hope oh, they remember man. you. Peter, by the way. Thoughts are strange. Oh, I'm using your made-up names. Then I am Spider-Man. Man, it is going down. I may watch it a third time. Like, so I heard a I heard a rumor. Uh let me press, let me press pause. I heard a rumor that uh now okay. With the Russo brothers, they gave us the beautiful um Air, air fight uh, I can't even talk they gave us the beautiful fight at the airport scene and I still can't talk in Civil War uh, two years ago Captain America Civil War someone was saying that like the just the fight on Titan alone or something like that like tops that times two I mean it may just be hearsay people just talking trying to get you excited or whatever but just after seeing this trailer twice and just seeing all of what they got there in Wakanda and then seeing at the end Spider-Man swinging around looks like that's going to be on Titan because I, you know, I paid attention to uh, the reporting like a week ago with Entertainment Weekly and it was kind of giving the backstory and things like that. Seems, uh, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. That was that was also talking about, um, um, you know, we're gonna get a, a real nice backstory for Thanos and gonna be able to, you know, somewhat uh, sympathize with him, somewhat empathize with him. And so, man, he looked crazy as hell, you know, when we first saw him and he had the armor on and he was taking off his helmet or whatever. And uh, when Gamora was talking to Iron Man towards the beginning and like I was saying during the trailer, I like that they are together and, you know, in the scene. And I hope this is not but now Marvel Disney. Don't piss me off now. Don't be putting uh, footage in the trailers that's not in the movie. You know what I'm saying? I don't like when you do that. I don't I don't like when any studio does that. That is false advertising. You know what I'm saying? You know we fans, you know we're gonna watch these trailers like a billion times. You know what I'm saying? You know this what what what, what was the record for the last one? 230 million in the first 24 hours. This is gonna beat that probably 250. So you know we 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 fall in love with these scenes that y'all give us in these trailers that they, they don't end up in the movie kind of like y'all did at the end of Spider Man Homecoming uh, because we did not get the scene with Iron Man and Spider Man swinging into the camera. Uh, like it was at the end of one of the trailers and um, you know in the movie. So you know don't do that. But what I what I was saying was I really like that Iron Man, Tony Stark, Robert Downey Jr. and uh, Zoe Saldana, Gomorrah are talking in the scene. It looks like, you know, she was like, hey, um, ever since I've known him, of course, she's his daughter. Ever since I've known him, um, you know, he's been wanting to destroy half the earth or half the universe. And if he's going to get the Infinity Stones and he was like, Tony was like, what's your name again? And Thanos. So I really like that they are in a scene together because, you know, since we're getting a part one and part two next year of Avengers, I was like, maybe all the Avengers are not going to, you know, come up together in this movie. You know, we're going to have some over here, some over here. That makes sense to me. And then everybody going to link up or whatever in part four. I, I was cool with that. But, you know, I'm glad I got to see that. Uh, but going to the action I, I gotta watch this you know um this is a decent size screen i gotta you know when i'm done with this of course i'm gonna go watch it on a larger screen and get up to the tv like i'm a little kid saturday morning cartoons 
Because all that stuff in Wakanda, man, when they were just walking up and this Tyler had the whole army behind them, you know what I'm saying? I love Black Panther. You can go check, subscribe to my channel. You can go check out my review for that. I did a, a regular non-spoiler and spoiler review and talked about, the. you know, you can go watch that. But everything here in Wakanda, uh, the most advanced uh, nation in the whole world, because, you know, they got the vibranium, have never been conquered ever by anyone. And they didn't say that in the movie. What I think about it now is kind of disappointing. But just to see how they got the whole, the whole, they had the whole army. They had the, uh, what was it? The uh, Wakabi's tribe from Black Panther. That's in theaters now. So go see it. Um, the Border Tribe. Yeah, the Border Tribe. They had the whole Border Tribe. They had the updated uh, Hulk Buster suit back there. And then a couple of the other Avengers. And they was all putting up the shield. I was like, man, they had all these vehicles. I can't wait to see that. Everything in Titan looks crazy. Um, I'm just happy that, that we're getting to have another large movie uh, with, you know, off Earth. But, you know, besides like the Guardians uh, and, you know, Asgard, you know, we get to see another planet or whatever. So it just kind of, you know, just expanding on the whole MCU as we already know it. So that's just very exciting. Uh, it looked like we saw um, one of the uh, Black Order members. I am not familiar with them. So I, I, I'm not even going to guess his name, but somebody was screaming with a whole bunch of stuff in his face. Um, Spider-Man, Doctor Strange at the end. That's cool. Now, something that did concern me was the part of the trailer where Iron Man, Chris Pratt, Star-Lord, and uh, uh, I, I finna say Tobey Maguire, Tom Holland, Spider-Man was on Titan. And he was like, how about your plan is good, but it sucks. Let me do a plan Okay, I wasn't really feeling that. We're just going to have to wait and see because this trailer right here is out of context. Um, you know, and it may, that tone may be um, sufficient, you know, uh, that may be able to suffice, you know, in the final cut of the film. You know, right now I'm seeing that out of context. I only was thinking that because while I do uh, love Marvel and MCU, um, well, mostly everything that they do, you know, I'm a big fan. One of my criticisms is, I don't mind all the jokes in the movie. I think their jokes are fine. I think they're funny. But what frustrates me is sometimes they have jokes in the wrong moments. They have them in serious moments. And that's just very frustrating to me. For a quick example, uh, Thor Ragnarok, the very intro of the movie, when we're getting introduced to Surtur, uh, the demon god, um, you know, at the very beginning of the movie, you know, Thor is joking around and like, hold on, it's swinging around in the chain. And I'm just like, if Thor is not afraid of Surtur, if he's not, you know, pretending that this is just, you know, the end of everything, Ragnarok, why should I be worried too? So when I was watching that, in that movie, that was frustrating. I don't want to give any more examples, but that's just one example. Uh, what else? I mean, hey, you know, this is, we're going to just. Mm-hmm. We're going to take our time and I'm going to soak this in because this is my most second. I wish I had. Man, I usually keep water down here because my throat is dry. Third time. Uh, it's just so much. Three, two, one, go. Go. The entire time I knew him. He only ever had one goal. To wipe out half the universe. If he gets all the Infinity Stones, he can do it with the snap of his fingers. Just like that. Tell me his name again. Thanos. I remember what I was talking about. Man, you look like a boss. <laughs> Level 10. <laughs> we got one advantage. He's coming to us. Okay, so that's the circular ring thing. Okay. We have with Thanos. From the previous once. trailers. So that's what we we'll use. Yeah. So that's why they're gonna hide vision. Because we got the mind stone. Let's talk about this plan of yours. I think it's good. So except this is the scene it sucks. So let me do the plan. Look at and that man's way, new armor. It might be really good. It looks so beautiful. Wow. You're not gonna get into Wakanda? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's Groot and uh, Rocket. 
man, look at that armor. Half of humanity will still exist. Oh, that's Gamora as a child. Okay, I'm tripping. I can't ever. Doctor Strange. Oh, I'm using your made-up names. Then I am Spider-Man. Man, what is going on there? God! Spider-Man's the one to do it. Now, um, what I was going to talk about... Uh, how long is this? This is uh, 16 minutes, and that is okay. Um, what was I about to talk about? Spider-Man Homecoming. Tom Holland loved him in uh, Love Spider Man and Civil War. It was perfect in that movie. Homecoming was great. You know, I had some nitpicks here and there. Uh, but I remember at the very end of that movie, I was happy that um, Spider Man Tom Holland turned the upgraded suit, the Iron Spider suit, down. Because while, yes, in the comics, Spider Man does become Iron Spider, well, I mean, he has the suit name Iron, called Iron Spider. That is way, 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 way down the line. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to see that now. So when Entertainment Weekly dropped all those images and things like that and promotional material, and not just them, it may have been other people too, other publications, outlets. You know, they had one poster of Spider-Man and they didn't have him as Spider-Man. They had him as Iron Spider. I was just like, man, I hope, I hope, you know, I, I just hope they don't go that route. But, uh, Maybe not here with Marvel Disney, but when uh, Sony, uh, when they do their solo film, what is it, July of 2019? Yeah. Uh, you know, they may do that. And I just think the Iron Spider the whole thing is just too early. But if you're fighting Thanos, you're going to need every freaking ability that you have. The suit was already made from the previous movie. So, I mean, you got to you do what you got to do. So that's cool. But it looked freaking amazing when Thanos at the very end of the trailer was jumping and finna knock the hell out of somebody. I can't wait to see that who that is. Maybe he fighting the Hulk. And how in the world is um is Captain America able to hold Thanos like this? He got the gauntlet, you know. He didn't have all the gems, I don't think. All the, it's funny in the, they used to call them gems, but now they call them stones. But uh, I'm just like like how is Captain He just uh, you know what I'm saying yeah, I'm not giving up you know <laughs> being super Captain America you know what I'm saying I can't wait to see what the, what, what that's about you know he finna power up Super Saiyan something like that I don't know um, but it looked great man uh, you know we got uh, teenage Groot in there uh, with uh, Rocket and who was they talking to in that scene uh, I think it well it may not have been the same scene as the trailer saw cut together but. Uh, Thor looked like you know he got his new weapon and he finna charge up and just wreck shop. Um, I, I don't know what his uh new weapon is called, but I, I saw something that they was about to call it Stormbreaker, and I'm like, no, Stormbreaker is the other dude's uh uh weapon, the Golden Hammer. Uh, what's it? Better Ray Bill. Uh, yeah, Better Ray Bill. You know his weapon is called Stormbreaker, so uh, they're gonna be calling Thor's new weapon Stormbreaker. Um, if so, I don't like that, but if they do, you know, I, I get over it. Trailer looks freaking fantastic, man. I cannot wait. I got my tickets. Uh, back row, middle IMAX, you know what I'm saying? 2D, uh, first movie in all time shot with IMAX cameras. I'm, uh, as soon as I, I cannot wait to end this video, not because I don't mind talking to y'all, but I just really want to be able to like blow this whole thing up and catch up with the discussion and all that. Because like I said, I'm late to the party. Uh, is there anything I want else I want to talk about in this trailer? No, I can't think about it. But since we're talking Marvel and uh, you know comic movies, subscribe to my channel. Go back and look at my reviews for Black Panther. Go back and look at my review for Thor Ragnarok. Um, go back and uh, look at um, I, a couple of months ago. I rated all it, Black Panther hasn't come out yet, so it was just the seventeen right after Thor Ragnarok. 
I talked about uh, I ranked all 17 MCU films from worst uh, to best from the last place to first place and go check that out. And also you can check out my uh, video for my top 10 uh, comic book movies of all time. And again, this was right after Thor Ragnarok and Justice League, but before Black Panther came out. Go check that out. Also, if you want to uh, go check out some more of my uh, other reactions to other trailers. And also, if you're into other films and want my opinion, want my review, um, I have a review up for A Wrinkle in Time, Strangers, um, Death Wish, and Love, Simon. Um, I couldn't remember the movie. But guys, that is just my opinion, my reaction, my review for Marvel Studios uh, the Avengers trailer number two. I freaking loved it. Um, you know, that's just my opinion. What did you think? Let me know down in the comment section below. Um, do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Um, you know, let's talk about it. Um, like I always said, subscribe to my channel. Go to my website. You can check me out there. Bookmark it. Also look me up on social media. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. It's right there at the bottom of your screen. And I made it very easy by providing a link to all that good stuff down in the description box below. But guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash reaction for the Avengers Infinity War trailer number two. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery. And that's just my opinion. Peace.